Hello and welcome to UNALS and the U.S. Academic Research Fleet. UNALS, the University and National Oceanographic Laboratory System, is a consortium of 58 academic institutions and national laboratories involved in oceanographic research. The United States Academic Research Fleet is composed of 17 research vessels independently operated by 14 different institutions, with three new vessels under construction to join the fleet in coming years. Vessels range from local and coastal to global class vessels that operate around the world. We are excited to share with you what it's like to work aboard our vessels and why you should consider a career in the U.S. Academic Research Fleet. I love the exploration portion of it. You see the world. For many years, I don't think there was a single cruise that I went on where we didn't discover something new, discover a new species that was never seen before. You get to do so much varied stuff per trip, even just per day. We're gonna be going down and using an ROV to recover deep cold water corals, like how cool is that? We're exploring all the interesting things, the trenches, the underwater volcanoes, the little microbes coming out of the water. I think being a part and seeing that is amazing to be a part of. It's never boring. One of the things I always told myself that I would leave a job or a career is if I just got stagnant and just wasn't learning anything new. And this vessel, specifically Sekulik, with how a lot of our engine systems are, <sighs> I learn something new every trip. The people that they've selected are spectacular to work with. I've worked all over the industry, yachts, commercial, oil, sailing, tall ships, all sorts of stuff. I never really worked on boats growing up as a kid. I grew up in New York City. I didn't want to work in an office or, I don't know, go kind of one of the more traditional routes. I originally wanted to be a marine biologist, but after discovering this job exists, I found out I could do all the field work without having to write actual papers. I started here as an AB and worked my way to third, and now I currently am doing my first rotation on board the Sally Ride as second mate. I got into research fairly early. I was driving small boats for a towing service, and I towed a NOAA small boat in, and the Corps officer just kind of liked the cut of my jib and said, you should look into research, young man. And, and so I did, and that's kind of how I got started with research. One of the big differences is the sailing route and definitely the work we do. You know, on a container ship, you're just going from one commercial port to the other. Often, we're going to more unique places. We have longer port stays, so you get to see more of the, the world and the culture in those places when you come in. Honestly, all of the places, been to New Zealand, been to India, Taiwan, Thailand, uh, South America, all up and down uh, Argentina, Puerto Rico, Cape Verde, up across the Atlantic. Probably some other places I can't remember right now. <laughs> Just the, the fact that we go to the Arctic is so rare in the fleet because truly the only interest right now is research, is academic. So if you want to get up there, there's very few opportunities, especially in the U.S. fleet. Last summer we went to Guam and then uh, we transited through Oceania. We went north of Papua New Guinea, um, down to Darwin, Australia. So that was, that was really cool to see. I think the best part of it, especially compared to other ships that at Worktown, you really meet a lot of people. So we have the scientists, you really meet people from different backgrounds. And here you actually have a more diverse group of people here. You see all kinds of people. We probably have an equal amount of male and female crew member on board. And also we have people from different races as well, so which is really nice. Primarily as a female on deck, I'll say that the research community has really nailed integrating females into the workplace, especially in a, in a male-dominated deck force. Everybody's just a matter of their merit and their attitude. Beyond that, having worked you know, yachts and other things like that, it's really wonderful to work on a boat that has a, a purpose that gives back to the community. It's great that it's not confidential, that it's shared with the world, all the research, all the data, what we're doing. I can tell my family where the boat is. That's just a, a really nice treat for the heart to be able to give back in that way. The tight partnership with actually all aspects of, of the ship's crew and officers is really essential to making all that work. We do have to face these challenges of weather systems coming in, uh, other opportunities, other uh, sometimes we're doing joint operations with other ships. And so the sampling activities have to be carefully choreographed according to all these different factors. And again, it's that teamwork and partnership at all levels that really enables us to get the most out of every moment we have at sea. My favorite part is the crew that we work with. They've become a, like a second family to me. Uh, I look forward to coming back. I spend time with them when I'm off the ship as well. I run the deck and I prepare logistics with the science party. So I'm kind of the liaison between crew and science, making sure science party get their needs met and then making sure the crew is aware of what the science party needs at the same time. Running the deck and heavy machinery, I, I love doing that, running the cranes and 
doing successful science operations. It's great to see different science parties come through with all different types of science, biology, chemistry, geology. So it's always something new, which is always fascinating. The ship is essential because we, we go to a place and we collect samples. We can't do all of our work remotely. We need to actually be in the position, collecting seawater samples, processing seawater samples, making measurements at sea. To do that, you bring a bunch of scientists on board and we are entirely reliant on the crew and the marine techs to make that happen. What I like about the research ships is the fact that they're nonprofit, so you're not ruled by the almighty dollar. They're not afraid to spend money where it needs to be spent. I think that just overall, it's really cool to see some of the science that goes on. So the marine techs are responsible for data collection and handling, both physical and digital. We work directly with researchers and scientists to make their projects and experiments happen and happen smoothly. Really the mindset, you know, someone said, uh, you know, just the, the people are much more happier. I find much more easy to get along with. You know, it's more laid back. You know, we still work hard, but it's much more friendly, you know? And um, I didn't know that when I first got into this industry. No commute. One day of commute. You just fly there and that's it. I just go up and down the stairs for the mornings. You're fed, you don't have to think about that. But I, I think honestly, the number one reason I can't not sail anymore is I absolutely cannot stand commute. It's actually really nice. This is a newer ship. I have no complaints. The food is really good. There's great food, good cooks, great food. Food's incredible. The food's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the day to day, you, you end up working with people from all different kinds of backgrounds and the dinner table conversation is really good. And so, yeah, it's, it's been refreshing being on research vessels for sure. A lot of the science gear that we put in and out is really cool and they'll show us little pictures of microscopic plankton or jellyfish. So uh, yeah, we get to see a lot of cool stuff. The research vessel uh, appealed to me mostly because it's basically harmless and maybe even doing some good for the world. I went to places that most people do not go to and, uh, and most people have never even seen. The fact that we get to go up into the ice, we break the ice, we're working with different scientists from around the globe doing different things. No trip is the same. I love that. I've done a lot of work on container ships. I've worked on railroads. I've worked on tankers. I've worked on break bulk vessels in the Great Lakes and nothing really can compare where you're talking about the food, the accommodation, the culture here is really great. You get a lot more variety of people that you get to work with. I'm not necessarily a point A to point B kind of a person. I like doing different things, I like the variety, I like the mission that we have on research vessels. It feels like we're doing a little bit more than just moving things around. Well, I would say if you want to see things that most people don't get to see, come on, come on and uh, work with us. If you want to, you know, have a fulfilling career out at sea, this is, this is definitely one of the places to do it. More than Maria. You should always try it out. There's no wrong of trying out a new experience. Every day I see something I've never seen before and every day I learn something I've never learned before. Me, I spend at least half of my time out here at sea. If you're gonna spend half your life doing something, you better have fun, because this is home number two, right? You have to enjoy what you do. To learn more and to find job listings and hiring managers, please visit our website at www.unals.org. We wish you fair winds and following seas.